Hello, and welcome to Justin's Tech Talk, the show where I give you programs and teach you how to use them. Now, last time on my Tech Talk show, I was explaining the basics of Audacity with the six basic user interface buttons. Today, I'm going to go into a little bit more detail on how to use the effects that most people are going to use on a small project for school or something like that. Now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to record a little audio bite that I'm going to mess with. So, let's do this. Audacity is a program used for recording audio and then editing it. <clears throat> now, as you can see, I have a little bit of a... Y you get the blue lines. That's what I call them, the blue lines. The blue lines are basically the peaks of decibels and the minimal things that are going to show up in your track. As you can see, you have a little bit of a scraggly line leading up to a giant peak when I first started talking. You have a little more peaks when I hit the top of my P's and S's. <laughs> and then you have a little bit more white noise in between other words I have. Now, one thing to take into consideration that you can fix that right away. One is when you're recording audio, up here and up here are your microphone and volume settings. If you minimize this right here, that's going to minimize the output volume that you're getting. So basically it's like changing your volume on your computer. This one is changing how loud your microphone is going to input volume. So if you lower that, you're going to minimize these peaks. Because right now, if I played this audio track, it would sound really loud at each one of these individual peaks. So, say you don't want to do that. Say you like your microphone at the volume it's at, but you still have those peaks. How do you fix that? Well, let me show you. First thing you need to know is, is that you can edit only bits of the audio of your track. You don't have to click on the track like that and have it the whole thing edited. You can select individual parts of the track. And the way you do that is, is by putting your mouse over the track, clicking your left button, and scrolling and highlighting what you want. So right here, there's those couple of peaks that I want to remove. Now, what do you do next? You have these peaks, what do you do? Well, you use an effect. There are multiple effects that come with Audacity, and there are tons more you can download. So you can do a lot with Audacity. Oops. <laughs> now, for me, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to remove the peaks I have. Now, the way you're going to do that is, as weird as this sounds, you're going to need a Amplify effect. Now you're thinking, Amplify, why would I want to amplify my sound? It's already too loud. Well, let me explain to you. Amplify can be used to amplify the decibels in both a positive and negative number. So, for me, I'm going to go positive. No, not positive. Negative. Now, you're wondering, oh my gosh, I don't know how many decibels I need to remove it. Well, let me tell you this. Any effect you do, you can undo by clicking control Z on your keyboard. So don't be scared to mess around with Audacity. Be free and let your mind wander because you can undo anything as long as you don't do it in a very sporadic manner and do a bunch of effects at once and then are like, oh, you know what? I don't like that first one. So I'm going to amplify it in a negative way. So I'm probably going to amplify it about a negative... Let's go negative 3.5. That sounds about a good number. Now, for almost every effect on Audacity, there is a preview button. The preview button is basically going to give you a snippet of what you are trying to edit, and it'll make show you what it's going to sound like. I'm almost positive three, negative 3.5 is going to be okay for me, so I'm just going to keep it like that. Great! My peaks are at exactly almost the same peak height as all my others, which is exactly what I wanted. Now it's going to sound like it is a normal part of the track and it doesn't sound like me screaming into the microphone. So let's do the same thing with this one. A little bit too loud. Let's take that down back to 3.5. Okay. Now, as you can see, I have removed the peaks it's going to sound like I'm talking normally into the microphone. So let's actually hear that. Use your skip to the beginning button 
and click play. Audacity is a program used for recording audio and then editing it. Great! It sounds normal. It doesn't sound like I'm screaming into the microphone. But if you notice, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to notice because my setup isn't exactly the most precise thing in the world, so it's kind of hard to tell. But for me and you probably, if you start using Audacity, you're going to notice there's white noise. White noise is background noise that is going to make your clip sound less professional, and no one wants that. So how do we get rid of these little peaks that are causing that fuzzy white noise? Well, I'll tell you, there's actually an effect for removing them. So highlight the area you want. Now, in this case, I have multiple areas that I want to remove. So the way you can select multiple areas is by clicking Control on your keyboard and then editing it. <laughs> and then editing it. Oh, audacity. You changed up on me. Before you were able to use control, now you're not. So, forget control. <laughs> Select the region that you want to edit, and then let's go up to the effects tab. There actually is an effect known as the noise removal effect. Click on noise removal. Now, normally what you would have to do is get a noise profile of what you're recording. It already has my noise profile for me because I did another effect and usually that's how it works. But because I've done that already, I already have my noise profile so I don't have to get it. So all I need to do is click OK. As you can see, it kind of took away it. Let's see how that sounds. See, I'm not still happy with that, so I'm going to make a little bit of more of a change. Let's take it up to 35 decibels, increase the sensitivity by 3.09, frequency attack, okay, that's good, I think that'll do me good. Okay, so it's almost eliminated it to barely a squiggle, let's see how that sounds. Uh, I'm still not happy, but because of this video and the fact that you guys now know how to use the effect, I'm going to be okay with that for now. So let me real quick edit all the other white noise I have. Hmm. Okay, so we've removed the white noise from our track. Now what? Well, basically what you're going to do now is whatever you want. You've got a noise track that basically is pure audio from what you've recorded. So let's see what mine sounds like. Audacity is a program used for recording audio and then editing it.